again there guys, Emma here from Paint and Pino and in this video we're going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to produce this really simple sunset but just through using a sponge, so no paint brushes in this video. So I'm going to put the paint directly onto the canvas, I'm using the warm red here just to start with. The benefits of putting paint straight onto the canvas is that there's no waste. So although it seems like I'm using quite a lot of paint at this stage, we're going to use pretty much everything that we put onto here. So now we're just going to put the cooler yellow just in again in a circle around the inside edge of the red and then we're just going to finish off with some titanium white in the middle. You may have seen previous videos of mine guys, I just love using a sponge, they are fantastic. So these are brilliant when it comes to blending and paint. So I'm just going to start off with the red working into the centre. So we're going to spread this obviously all the way around. If you haven't used a sponge before, they're just so easy to use they just you know you get a really even distribution of paint the only thing that you do find is that they'll build up quite a lot of that paint so a lot of this yellow you'll start to see actually merges in with my red a little bit but that's okay because we'll uh, we're just going to keep blending it around and creating that lovely orange effect in the middle now what I have found is it's probably a little bit too red so a little trick here, if you take, um, so yeah, you can see that it's just, just a bit too red at the top. So if you take actually a palette knife, they are fantastic for removing any errors. So you can just scrape off the excess like so. It's quite nice actually that it's revealing the yellow just underneath. I always, always have a palette knife on hand, even if I'm not using the palette knife to paint with, because it just, it's almost like having an eraser for your acrylics. There you go. So now the yellow's coming through much nicer. The other quick tip as well is I've got about three or four different sponges on hand, guys, because eventually you're going to get so much paint into your sponge it becomes impossible to use. So I'm just blending some of that white into the yellow. You can see how thick the acrylic is. And I like that effect. I like being able to see those individual strokes because you really get that almost impressionist feel to your painting. Now, one little trick here, guys, is you want to keep your wrists straight as possible. So you don't want to get those sort of rainbow curves on your paint. I'm just going to switch out that sponge, get a new sponge just to give a little bit more blending at the bottom. So you can see how easily it picks up the acrylic paint. It's a really satisfying way of painting. And of course, you've got different types of strokes as well. So if I go flat like this, it blends much more quickly. Or if I want to have more of those individual strokes, then you can just use the corner of the sponge itself. I'm just going to keep blending this through in the corners just so I get a really nice seamless transition going from the red to the yellow and to the white. Now you'll notice I've really tried to keep that white in the middle. I know it sounds daft but ultimately the, the whitest colour you can have on your canvas is the white of the canvas. So we, we don't really want to contaminate it too much in the middle with yellow because you want to get that really bright vivid uh, sunset reflection coming off the water. So now I'm just focusing on the actual reflection itself. Where, where I've put that white line halfway is almost like the horizon line of the ocean. So we're just trying to blend the rest of that in a little bit more effectively. Just so that we get that, that almost that ocean look with all the streaks in at the bottom. The other great thing of course with sponges as well guys is you can use various different sizes. This is just the average brush, that, uh, the average sponge rather that you would wash your dishes with. Um, you know, so you can buy these 10 to a penny. I know they're not the greatest for the environment. So if you think about it in terms of if you finish doing the dishes with these things, use them for your art. Because obviously it's hard to wash at this stage but once I finish with this painting I'm just going to leave them soaking in the sink and then I can use them for another painting as well. So yes they're not the best for the environment but in terms of recycling or the phrase I prefer to use these days is to reuse rather than recycle. That's, that's a really good way of doing that when you're doing your art. So I'm just blending some of that deeper red in at the sky at the top. Just working some darker streaks through because I just want to give a bit more of a tonal quality to the sky. So just adding a little hint of black through the red at the top, 
just to sort of break up those lines a little bit more. And this is just personal choice. I like my paintings to have a, a more of an impressionist style where you really get to see those individual brush strokes. Some people like to go really realistic, so you're going to blend it in a lot more. And you can do that with the sponge. It actually gives you a remarkable amount of control in terms of mark making. So I'm just wanting to have more of that streaky appearance. You can see there I've got some some curves going on. You really do want to try and focus on keeping your wrist straight. So just here I'm just going to try and even those lines out a little bit more. I'm just going to do a last few touches just to bring some of those highlights, the white through a little bit more so I get more of a sort of reflective feel both in the sky and the ocean. I've just switched out the brush now so I can have a bit more control over the white. So you can see I'm really being careful not to actually cover that white area over. So if you go from the white outwards rather than the colour inwards, you're always going to ensure you've got a nice block section of white so that you get that really vivid sense of sunset reflection. And I'm just working a little bit more white up into the sky and below at the bottom of the ocean. Again, just to work those lines and those streaks through a little bit more. And then last little touch in the end is just to put a little blob for the sun in the middle. I'm just going to have a little bit of a darker edge as well with the horizon line. So again, just putting a tiny hint of black into the red. When I say black, I don't really want there to be black on the actual painting itself. I'm just creating almost like a tertiary brownish type red. So you can just get a hint of definition on that horizon. So I'm just using the very corner edge of the sponge now just to create that fine line. And just put some of those streaks a little bit lower down just to break up the ocean again. I actually find this type of painting so therapeutic. Sometimes it's hard knowing when to stop because you can just keep building up those streaks and those lines. It's one of those where really the more you build up, the more effective it's going to look when you have more of an impressionist feel to your painting. Often it is the decision that artists struggle with is when do I start? But this technique, like I said, you can, you know, the more you can work your pigment, the more effective it's going to look. And there you have it. Sunset by sponge. So there you have it guys, hope you've enjoyed today's video and seen how easy it is to produce a painting just like this by simply using a sponge. Question of the day, what technique do you use to blend your acrylic paints? I'd love to hear from you guys, please do leave a comment below. If you have enjoyed this video then do hit that like button as it really does help our channel. And if you'd like to see some more weekly top tips just like this, we upload weekly videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so don't forget to hit that subscription and notification bell just below. Alrighty guys, we'll see you next time. Happy painting.